Hi, Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at how to upgrade your firmware on your Hike Vision DVR to version 3.3.3. Now the main fix in this firmware release is that you're now able to send emails using Gmail again uh, because it now supports uh, TLS authentication rather than SSL. Now the whole reason that your Gmail email account will have stopped working with your Hypevision DVR is because Google stopped supporting SSL authentication um, and changed to using TLS, but the Hypevision DVRs didn't support TLS authentication. This firmware upgrade has fixed that, and the DVRs that this upgrade is applicable to is the 7.1 series, 7.2 series, 7.3 series, the 8.1 series and the 9000 series. We've included a link in the description to the release notes for this upgrade. There are other upgrades available if your DVR or IP camera is different to these. Um, they can be found on the Hype Vision website but this particular tutorial will just focus on those particular DVRs. Okay, so firstly what we need to do to perform the upgrade is download the firmware file from our website. So what you'll need to do is go to www.mieccTV.co.uk, then click on support at the top of the page and then go to downloads. Once you're on the downloads page you'll see underneath the Height Vision range resource tab there is the Height Vision firmware version 3.3.3. .3. We want to save this to our computer. Once this is saved, we can open up the downloads folder. Now this will save as a zip folder. On our particular computer we're using WinRAR, but you'll have a built-in uh, zip extractor that you can use. And to extract the firmware file from this, you just need to right click and then click extract here. And this will give you a file that's called digicap.dav. Now this is the firmware file for your DVR and this is what we'll need to upgrade the DVR, whether you're doing it on the DVR itself or you're using the web browser. So firstly we're going to cover how to do it on the web browser. We will cover later how to do it on the DVR itself. If you click on the annotation on screen now, that will jump you forward to the part on how to do it on the DVR. So once we've gone to the internal IP address of our DVR on our web browser, you'll just need to log in with your usual username and password. Now once we've logged into the DVR, we need to go into the configuration page. Once in the configuration page, we then need to go into maintenance. Now the first thing we're going to do is just export the device parameters just to save the settings that are on the DVR just in case any problems occur when we're upgrading the firmware on the DVR. So we just save the file and give it an appropriate name. We've called, our, called ours setting underscore backup and that will save the parameters down to your computer. You can also save the IP camera parameters if you've got any set up on the DVR, but in our case we haven't. So next we're just going to go to where it says upgrade firmware at the bottom and go to browse. Then we're going to select the digicap.dav file that we downloaded earlier, click open, and then we're going to click upgrade. The DVR will take approximately four to five minutes to upgrade. We have sped it up for the purpose of this video, so please be patient when upgrading. Once the upgrade is complete, your DVR will reboot. And then you can log back into your DVR. Now if we go to the configuration we can look at the firmware version and now we can see it's version 3.3.3. .3. So what we can do next is if for any reason when performing the firmware upgrade your DVR has lost any settings, if you go into the maintenance menu and then go to import config file, we can re-import all the settings from earlier on the settings file that we saved. So we select the file which we called setting underscore backup and then just click import. These should only take a few seconds to import back into the DVR. Once it's complete, the DVR will reboot and then you'll have all your original settings and you can log back into the DVR once again. And now we can move on to putting in the email settings for your Gmail account. 
So the first thing that we'll need to do is put in the sender. Now the sender is going to be your email address at gmail.com. So that's your existing email address. Now the sender's address, uh, that needs to be the same. So that again needs to be your email address. The SMTP server is Google's SMTP server, which is smtp.gmail.com. Now the SMT port, this is the important part. We need to set this to 587. Now that's what will make the DVR use uh, TLS authentication rather than SSL. Now this is the problem that you would originally have been having with your Gmail account. So you need to tick enable SSL and in the web browser that says enable SSL, that means SSL slash TLS and it will use whichever authentication method is appropriate depending on what port you specified. So by specifying port 587, it will force the DVR to use the TLS authentication. So now for authentication purposes, we're going to need to generate a password using your Google Mail account. Now this isn't the password you usually use to log into your Gmail account. This will be a password that is randomly generated by Google uh, for security reasons. So what we need to make sure is that you have uh, two-step verification enabled on your Google Mail account. And then what we can do is set up a specific password for the DVR. So if you go to your Google Mail account and sign in, once you've signed in, what we'll need to do is in the top right hand corner, we've got the series of squares we'll need to click on. So we just left click there. Once we've clicked there, you go to My Account. And then once we're in the My Account screen, we go to Signing into Google. Now here we can see that you have some app passwords. If you can click on the app passwords on the right hand side, now we're going to set up a brand new app which is going to be your DVR. So if you drop down the pull down and just name it something relevant, in our example we've used DVR email, then we've hit generate. Now what this does is it generates you a random password. So we can copy that password and now we can enter that into the password window on our email configuration window on the DVR. So now that's done that will authenticate whenever you try and send the emails. And the final settings you need to put on the DVR is the email that you want to receive the notifications that you get when the DVR sends you an email. So this is going to be an alternate email. It can be the same email, but usually it's uh, it's a different email to what you're using to send. So all we need to do now is click on save and then that completes how to configure the email on the DVR. So that's how you do it if you're using the web interface. What we'll do next is move on to how to upgrade the DVR and also put in email settings if you haven't got access to the DVR on the web interface and you need to do it on the DVR itself. So we need to go into the maintenance menu and here we're just checking the firmware version. As you can see, it's 3.3.2. We've put the digicap.dav file on a USB stick, just plugged it into one of the USB ports on the DVR. And now we go to the upgrade menu and click upgrade. As previously stated, the upgrade can take around four to five minutes. So we've sped it up for the purpose of this video. So please be patient when you're upgrading. Once the DVR has completed its upgrade, it will reboot. Once your DVR is rebooted, you can go back into the menus on the DVR and now you'll see the firmware version when we go into maintenance is version 3.3.3. So now the DVR will work again with sending the email notifications using your Gmail account. So we're going to go into the configuration menu, go into network, and then go into email. Firstly, we'll enter in the SMTP server of the Gmail servers, which is smtp.gmail.com. We're going to change the port as, pre as discussed earlier and it's going to be 587. Now on the DVR you can see it says enable SSL slash TLS. So again, it, this is specified by what port you choose. So the fact that we've chosen port 587, it will use TLS authentication. So what we need to do in here is enter in your email address that you've got registered with Google Mail. So this is going to be your email address at gmail.com. Then we'll need to enter in the password that was generated as shown 
previously when we went in and set up an app password for the DVR. Because this was randomly generated for this example, we're just going to put in a false password. Now we can copy the email address down into the sender's address. The DVR is a handy function that you can actually copy and paste now. Then we can select the receivers. Now we're only going to set up one receiver on this. And the receiver is going to be the email that you want to receive on. So this will be the email of your choosing. I think in our example we use email to receive on at hotmail.com. Okay, so we can copy the receiver's address as well. And we're just going to enable the attached picture. What this will do is allow us to, uh, it will actually attach an image to the email that it sends you. We click apply down at the bottom. Now if you get this message, what will happen is it will try and force and change the port to, uh, I believe it's 465. What you'll need to do is make sure to force the TLS authentication that we change it back to 587. So we'll just do that here, we'll click OK. Now we can click Apply and it will save it. And if we click on Test to test all your email settings, if you've entered in all the information correctly, you'll get Email Test Succeed. And this completes this video tutorial on how to upgrade your firmware and enter in your Gmail email settings. If you need more information on these DVRs, you can visit our website, which is www.mieccctv.co.uk. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment on our video below.